kisses, kisses. <laughs> yeah. Uh, good afternoon, music lovers. And welcome once again to the Boathouse Jazz Cafe. <laughs> I'm your host, Vicki, the Flying Busman. And this is our first mate, the lovely Phoebe Du Soleil. Welcome to the Boathouse Jazz Cafe. This afternoon we are featuring uh, what to us is a very new and interesting and unusual brew. We ran into this a few days ago at Trader Joe's, and it is a uh, collaboration between the Harpoon Brewery and Dunkin' Donuts. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Dunkin' Donuts and Harpoon have put their wits together and made what they call Harpoon Dunkin' Coffee. Order. So let's give it a try, shall we? We'll put that right there. Okay. And we'll take our brew. You're not interested, are you? Give it a shot. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's, <laughs> yeah, that's a tasty brew. Uh, now, presumably, uh, if it's a Dunkin' Donuts quasi-product, you are encouraged to dunk your donut in the beer. Now, we are, we are out of donuts here. Um, at the at the Boathouse Jazz Cafe. Currently, did you eat the last donut? She's not saying. So what we would uh, what we're going to substitute here is uh, because we don't have any donuts on hand to dunk in our coffee, beer, water. We are going to pretend like we are little Jack Horner. You remember him, the little fella that stuck his thumb in the pie and pulled out a plum. So let's see what happens. We stick our thumb in a coffee porter. <laughs> uh, not bad. A donut probably works better or any other kind of uh, bread stuff that you might have on hand. Give it a shot. Dunk, dunked or not. It's a pretty good beer. <laughs> Are you trying to you try to lick that beer off of my mouth off of my lips? <laughs> okay, so today uh, what we would like to play is uh, a song that was written for another one of our lifelong literary heroes, Henry Miller. Henry Miller was an American expatriate who lived in Paris in the 1930s and is known primarily for his novel Tropic of Cancer. He's also contributed a few other gems to the American literary canon, like the Tropic of Cancer Corn. Tropic of Cancer Corn. This is actually our, our first beer, believe, <laughs> believe it or not. Tropic of Cancer Corn, the Rosie Crucifixion, Black Spring, etc. We were put in the mind of Henry Miller because my brother, Goma brilliant and genius cabaret singer and actor in New York, posted a uh, really lovely, inspiring quote by Henry Miller on his Facebook page today. And so we would like to uh, contribute to the Miller homage by playing a song that we call, uh, what is it we call it, song again? Is it, that's right, Henry Miller's Halo. Henry Miller's Halo. <laughs> the 
let's see if we can do this, shall we? Maybe we need, maybe we need just a little more Dunkin' Donuts coffee porter. Okay. And in case you're wondering what those protuberances are at the bottom of the screen on either side of Phoebe, who she's getting, who's getting um, a little more curious about, those are my toes. I had to take my socks off because we spilled our first beer and my socks got all wet. So we're going barefoot today. Henry Miller's Halo. Thank <laughs> you. 
Segovia, eat your heart out. Henry took the angel for his water bottle. In bold watercolors, he drew an art. He filled it with the people and the places to see. Trading masterpieces for a can of beans. Words were the way he sang his song. Book after book, whole life long. Like the smile at the foot of the ladder. Bill always left his heart beside him. Halo by Mickey the Flag Busman and Phoebe Du Soleil. That's you. Thank you for joining us here at the Boathouse Jazz Cafe <laughs> this afternoon. We figured you'd probably have other better things to do, but in any event, we're always here. We're always open. We always got beer in the fridge. And we're always singing, baby. So stop on by whensoever the mood strikes because we're ready to rock and roll. <laughs> Thanks for listening. We'll see you next time right here at the Boathouse Jazz Cafe.